Good morning. We've put in some soybeans planting wise, but today is the first huge day of seed corn planting. Okay, everyone be careful. Don't hit your head on this. Duck, okay. Just gonna start the tractor and then we're gonna fill it up with some 10340 and 32 percent in these tanks. Um, so I had to make a quick run into town because it turns out we didn't have every, everything we needed. So I ran to the co-op and uh, you know what that means, right? Going to town in the morning time. Quick McDonald's stop. McDonald's. May I take your order? Hi, could I have an order of pancakes, please? Now I totally get to be the hero to dad and deliver breakfast. All right, so while I was in town, dad was planting out male borders on our seed fields. It's important that we keep everything separate. So I have the shot vac here and I'm going to vacuum out all of these boxes and then we can fill it with our female seed and then I can go start planting. Okay, now that all of the row units are cleaned out, as you can see, every fourth one is, their lid is closed. And right now we're locking up those row units because those are going to be our male rows. And this is going to be planting female rows. So I'm also going to lift this vacuum hose up and put this stopper in it. So the seed plate is out of this one. There's no seed in it. The lid is locked down and it doesn't even have any vacuum pressure going to it. So I'm just working on getting things set up with dad. Um, it's official, everybody. It is tank top and shorts weather. It is so hot outside. Unfortunately, now this is not me complaining about the heat, okay? Love summer. Summer's amazing. It just means that my four-wheeler seat has been sitting in the sun and my legs are about to be absolutely toasted. So that just means I have to stand up and ride the four-wheeler. Okay, hold on. I just came up with the most genius idea. Ta-da! Now, right the spot where I sit is in the shade of this nice power pole. Score! All right, here we are. Another day in the cab. I went and started this pivot moving so it can be moving this way as I work this way. And then once it's out of the way, I can go that way towards the road. Here is our monitor set up iPad, precision planning, ag leader, John Deere with the Demco tanks. And we are planting a seed field. Right now we're putting all the females in, um, uh, which there's four, and then there's a male on either side of it. Um, uh, later today, dad or grandpa Kurt will be coming along in the male planter and planting in that row every four rows, if that makes sense. Okay, we are approaching the end of this pass and I wanted to show you what I do when we turn around. So I plant all the way out into the borders because we have swath control and so all the rows will automatically clutch when we reach a point I've already planted. So I'm going to plant all the way out, lift up my three point, turn off my 32% and my starter, start making our turnaround here as you can see that nice straight line there, make our turnaround. Once my auto steer line clicks over, hit my auto steer so that can start lining up. Okay, speed up just a little bit here so I can line up a little faster. 
throw it in reverse, if I get really straight, and put it in gear, put my three point down, start my 30%, and my start, my fertilizer, low speed start, speed up, and we are planting. Simple as that, right? All right, everybody wave hi to the neighbor that's spraying over there, hi. So fun to be able to work, work so closely with other farmers. Also, yes, that is zip tying my hair. Aaron Holbert gave me that idea. One of my hair bands broke and this was the best alternative I had. Uh, I just drove back to the farm and I filled my tanks with starter and 32%. No, 32% and 1034 I forget, it's like you either say starter and fertilizer or you say 32% and 1034-0. But anyways, so you can say that I have it easy with auto steer and all the screens as much as you want, but I still load all the 50 pound seed bags with my own two hands in the 90 degree heat. So also all of this really cool technology and the auto steer, it does make my life a lot easier, but it also means that I can grow better corn for cheaper. So it doesn't just mean that I get to be on my phone in the cab. Um, other than that, things are looking well and I'm going to continue planting into the evening. I'm planting seed corn, but there's already green stuff out there. No, it's not weeds. We've already been through here with a root slicer. That's why you can see those little lines. That's where I'm planting into, and then a harrow to brush off the tops of the ridges. Um, that green stuff, not weeds. It's cereal rye. That's one of the cover crops that we plant, and we have cattle that we grazed on there this spring. But now that we're planting something into it, it's taking a lot of moisture and nutrients from the soil. And so as soon as we get this planted, the female and then the male, then dad's gonna come through and spray something on top of it that will kill it, but it will not hurt the seeds that we just planted. So that's what the green stuff is. I just wanna thank everyone for watching this video. I'm really doing my best to put out those daily vlogs. Um, it means the world to me that you guys watch, and like and comment and subscribe. Um, I have a lot of fun seeing what you guys think of the content that I put out on the internet. Um, uh, so subscribe if you want to see more and there will be another video out tomorrow. So about six hours ago, I filmed my like outro, you know, where I say thanks for watching the video and all that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously i'm still out here so i have broken down twice since then and i didn't have my phone to film um but i so i broke a spring and then i had to go back to the farm and fix that because we had to heat it off and also my planter is kind of falling off the row from side to side and that can really really mess up our operations further down the line so i also had to drive back to the farm so that we can put our stabilizing discs down a little bit further and then while we were there, I found out that um, a cover didn't get put on and a vacuum hose got ripped off. And that's why some of my numbers have been a little bit off. Uh, so yeah, haven't eaten supper yet, um, but Grant is on his way with some food. And it sounds like I'm going to be out here for a while. Um, I've got like a third of a field to do. Stay tuned. Um, also, it's important that we get the females, that's what I'm doing, and the males, that's what dad's doing, in at the exact same day and time. And we had a lot of troubles starting up our male planner or the split row planner. 
And uh, yeah, so we had to do a lot of work on that. But now dad and I, he is right, yeah, right there. You see the lights. Uh, we're both going and we're gonna get this field done tonight. Good news, Grant to the rescue. I ate that pizza in like five seconds. I was so hungry. And he brought a kickstart. What time is it? No idea. I don't know, late? Just a little update. It is midnight and I'm just turning things off. Look at that. Wait, oh, yay. That's all green. I can shut this iPad off. John Deere monitor shut off. Can go home, go to sleep and do it all over again tomorrow morning. Okay, now this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.